Basically, Lewis will no longer be living in Manchester. Me and Lewis have come to Disbray. It's Sunday, we're having a little move. We're gonna go and get some food, have a little walk around. I feel like the pigeon lady from Home Alone in what I'm wearing. I found this big long coat. It's not even that long actually. I remember it being a lot longer than it was. I bought this a while ago because Lewis had one the exact same. I found it in a vintage shop in town and it's since just sat under my bed and I was like, I want to wear a leather jacket. Lifted up my bed and discovered this beauty. Um, so yeah, me and Lewis are going to go for some, some lunch, a little coffee, a little mood juice. We've come to Disbury quite a lot and just have a little walk around. So we thought, you know what, why not? A nice Sunday evening or afternoon, should I say. A little walk into town, a little pond around, look at some shops and grab some food so that is the plan that is the that is the action for today look at all these jelly cats in this window <laughs> that one would be so good i've got that one. Oh, we literally have most of them mini watermelon got that pineapple egg pineapple egg oh, the cloud you got a sun i like the cloud i do like the cloud one. Oh, oh my god look at that big whale up there as well right we've come in to a little restaurant called Gusto. Lewis and I have said we wanted to go here for a while. Every time we walk past, we thought, oh my god, that's so nice. It looks so fancy. We've never walked through the doors before, and it is so unbelievably beautiful. I said to Lewis, it feels like obviously today is like a little date day anyway, but it feels like this is the type of place you would actually go on like an actual. I said this to Lewis, and he said, well, we are on an actual date, but it feels like we would go here on like an actual evening day, as opposed to like I'm in a hoodie, not actually wash my hair or anything, and like literally just rolled out of bed and we're like, right, let's go to Disney with this afternoon. It feels like you dress up and like make the effort and be nice and fancy. We are getting a little glass of wine so it does feel like a nice fancy day. However, I am currently in a hoodie and a bucket hat and I don't really feel like I'm dressed for this environment. But then again, it's a Sunday afternoon, there are families in here. But look how beautiful this place is. Like, if you are looking for somewhere to go on a day in Manchester or around Manchester. This is where me and Lewis are sat. Obviously, this is our table. I don't want to film behind that pole because there's a bunch of families and kids and stuff. I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a oh. Good morning everyone, it is now the next day. As you'll have seen yesterday, we literally came home from having pasta. Lewis absolutely crashed on the sofa. I just sat with my headphones on. I watched some YouTube videos, caught up with YouTube, listened to a few podcasts. I am in desperate need of finding new podcasts because I feel like I'm up to date on all the ones that I currently listen to. So I have to wait like every single week for new episodes to be released, which is fun in itself. But Joe, when you just want to listen to something all the time, I binged loads of podcasts when I'm at the gym. And now I feel like I've like listened to everything that I wanted to listen to. I now have nothing to listen to. So I caught up on that yesterday. Anna came around in the evening and we started watching Next in Fashion on Netflix, which is really, really good. And it got me inspired to actually look through my wardrobe and look at pieces that I don't normally wear. Like this jacket, which I had on yesterday. I've pulled out this t-shirt. Have you ever seen me in it? Probably not. I have a bunch of cool clothes in my wardrobe that don't really get any use. So I was like, you know what? Today I'm gonna make an effort. I'm gonna get dressed in stuff that I have had for a while, but not really reached for. Saying that, however, on today's agenda I am actually going in to town to Lewis's old uni actually well not his actual campus but basically our friend Maya who you may have seen in vlogs like when I very first met Lewis she is a fashion design student so she very kindly actually I don't know why she asked me to go in and actually be the model for her garments that she's been working on for her recent project to show her lecture like what she's been doing my uber's outside that is where i'm heading now so let's go i don't know if i like this outfit or if i feel like i look like a character like i don't know if it's 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 not very me i've got this fendi bag that i picked up in australia that i've not yet used my new headphones which i'll talk about when i get back but yeah that is the plan for today i'm literally gonna head there now i feel i feel like this outfit is cool but not very me but i'm kind of enjoying it so. this is me <laughs> yeah, it's got loads of holes in. I feel like that would be good. Oh, Ta-da! Guys, <laughs> 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 we finally painted our little sculptures. 
uh, candles. We've got to paint it white first, which I don't actually realise. So we're going to paint them white, watch Princess Diaries 2, and paint them cold. I can't stay. Oh, I'm just been out to the shop. Did anyone used to get these as a kid? Candy sticks with a tattoo inside. They're like a little cigarette. I used to get these all the time. In fact, my nan and granddad used to live next door to um, like just a random corner shop. They weren't a branded corner shop. And they had like, I don't know where they were from. They were imported from somewhere. They looked like actual packs of cigarettes. I'm talking like, I must have been like 10, 11. So this was years ago, we said this would never happen now. But like it looks like the different brands of cigarettes, like the logo and everything, you open it up, it will in um, white paper, sticks of chocolate. So they actually looked like actual cigarettes. Me and my cousin used to get them all the time. And we'd walk around my nan and granddad's neighborhood like smoking these cigs. Uh, I don't remember being that hard. Also, I've got a burger and a little pizza. So I'm going to sit in bed and eat those. I'll pick up my vlog tomorrow and actually update it on my life, but she's been a mess. All of this. Oh, guys, my life is giving topsy-turvy upside down. It's going flip-flops. It's really giving me and my last vlog saying I'm the happiest I've ever been and then not really filmed anything since then because I felt sad. I feel like as soon as I put it onto YouTube that I'm feeling one type of way, my brain is like, now you're not. I posted in January saying that I was really just feeling shit. Then suddenly I was really happy again. Said that I'm feeling really happy. And guess what? I'm actually not that sad. This past few weeks has just been an emotional roller coaster. It has just been, it's been nice, but also bittersweet. Basically, Lewis will no longer be living in Manchester. And it's so upsetting and so sad because like selfishly I would love him to stay and love to be with him all the time as I had been. And it's definitely gonna be weird at first and it's definitely gonna, there's gonna be an adjustment period for sure. I'm gonna miss getting into bed every night and someone being there. He, the boy is literally my best friend in the entire world and it's like your best friend moving up to the top of the country and no longer being as close as you are like, in terms of proximity. It's gonna be weird, but then he's also my boyfriend. So there's also like the romantic, like I absolutely head over heels in love with him. It's gonna be odd. It's gonna be a weird one. And I know he moved home, if anyone kept up with my vlogs at all last year, he did move home straight out of uni and that just didn't go too smoothly. I literally, last time were bawling my eyes out days before he were leaving at the fact that he weren't, that he were leaving. I looked like him and it was so dramatic. But this time I did shed a little tear when I packed him on his way and sent him off in his car. I'm more now not thinking too selfishly into it and not thinking, oh my God, like when I wanna go and do something and he's not there and that like, we have to make sure we plan things and put in time for each other and I'm gonna be busy, he's gonna be busy. I love just waking up and laying on the sofa with him and like obviously I still be able to do that. I'm still gonna see him as frequently as possible but he doesn't just live over 15 minutes down the road anymore or like he's not in the house all the time anymore. <sighs> I feel quite emotionally drained. <laughs> you can't tell. Just a little learning curve that we're gonna have to deal with. And I know this sounds so silly, but anyone that is does long distance or was living with their partner and then the partner moved away or like, didn't do long distance when they first met their partner and then ended up doing long distance. Can probably understand how I'm feeling right now because I just feel like a little bit, not even uneasy, I just hate change. <laughs> I am a creature of habit and a creature of comfort and I feel like my comfort has just been swept from underneath my feet. On the bright side though, I have now got my full wardrobe back and I have shelves in my drawers that I can use and I'm gonna have a little rejig of my room. I say rejig of my room, I'm just gonna like tidy everything up, I'm gonna change all the stuff on the rails. Anyway, I hope you're all well. I will pick up my camera as and when. I'm just gonna get back into the swing of vlogging. I feel like now I have absolutely no distractions in my life. There's no excuse for me not to pick up my camera at every given damn second of the day. <laughs> Hey 
guys, I actually live in these headphones. Like, I don't think you understand. The minute I have a second to myself and I don't feel ignorant for putting them on, I have these headphones on. And they're the best thing I've ever purchased. I'm really sad I've not bought them sooner. I'm really excited actually to try them at the gym. However, my motivation for the gym is completely out the window. But hi everyone, good morning. Today is, what day is it? It's Friday today. Oh my God, it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Yeah! Hey! Hey bestie! Hey, Alright, could I get a double quarter pounder with cheese meal please? Uh, could I get a six nugget meal with an oasis? Uh, and a cheeseburger please? What sauce is a nugget? Could I get sweet and sour? Yes, next one Perfect, thank you. Hi. I've got a really bad habit of eating all the chips first and I'm full. Yeah, no, I'm the same. And I forgot to get a sauce as well, so they're gonna be really bland. Do you know what? I've been having a really overreactive, what's the word? Overreactive sensory Overload. overload recently. Yeah. You've always had a sensory smell now. I oh, know, but it's been really intense recently. Guys, my makeup's been on for three hours and I feel like it's just already coming off. You brought any with you? No. No? <laughs> you haven't brought any, you've got brought lips with you, surely. What's wrong with my lips? I wasn't, I haven't bought anything. Nothing, yeah you are. <laughs> Well, I have brought lips, yeah. Of course I have. Yeah, I didn't do my lips because I thought, well, I'll be honest, I did know we were going to come to McDonald's. So you have brought makeup? No, any, lip, any lipstick, that's all I've bought. And I thought, Anna's got her makeup there, so I can just pinch some powder. Do you know, the last time we sat in a car like this, were when, before I were actually dating Lewis, and I was sat there telling you we're just friends. In this car park, in, was it not? As the car park. Oh, is it Asda? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was Asda car park. Surely that's not the last time. Sat and filmed in the car, yeah. When the hell would we have sat and filmed? I'm currently in my parents' house. I'm in, I was gonna say my old bedroom, but this was never actually my bedroom. Basically, when I moved out, my mum and dad swapped rooms with me and my brother. So this would have been my bedroom if I didn't move out. I have just been told, my mum's been doing some clearing out and I had loads of boxes in the wardrobe because one of the wardrobes were actually saved for me. But now that I've literally not been back since June, my brother wants to take over the wardrobe and it was just basically a bunch of stuff that I said to my mum, please save. And I've just stumbled across so much stuff that I actually actually just forgot that I had. I have bags and bags, there's most of them there as well. Every single time anyone at a meet and greet or anywhere has ever given me anything, I've saved every single thing because I still to this day cannot believe, even more so now to this day, because I've not been to an event in so long and I feel like YouTube was so different back then and it's just so special that I kept all this because even back then I was so blown away by the love and support and that like, I literally wanted to be a YouTuber my entire life. I'm so glad that everything worked out the way it was and I will be forever, ever grateful. Obviously, I'm not the biggest YouTuber ever. It's not even really like my job and <laughs> we always joke about how no one watches my videos and stuff. I literally dreamed of being in this position that I'm in now forever and just little things like this that remind you of like oh my god shit like when i'm having a shit time and thinking oh my god like my videos aren't performing as well as they used to or like things feel different and i don't really know what i'm doing stuff like this really reminds me of why i started in the first place and i've literally just found a box full of all these youtuber books like this is not even all of them these are just the ones that like i got when i were at uni like i had a books before i even went to uni like different youtuber books i literally have every single book that connor front has ever released in fact i have two not self books since buying all these and since like being so obsessed with youtube is this one signed by zoe as well yeah this one's signed i will obsess with them and i since have like met so many of them and like spoke on facetime so many of them i literally had a full facetime call with alfie days and like Got his number in my phone. Yeah, I'm having a little nostalgic moment. I weren't gonna film whilst I've been home. So I came home from Mother's Day yesterday. Uh, I'm heading back to Manchester today, so I literally were only here for one night. I just thought I'd pick up my camera and not only say thank you, but just, I don't know what, why I'm picking this up. If anyone has ever, you could have put something in these bags. You could have brought me something to an event that I'm currently sat with now. I'm gonna read through a bunch of them. And I will never, ever, ever be able to tell you how grateful I am even if you're not still watching this and you've grown up and moved on with your life, that time was just very special for all of us and it still feels just as special to me now as it did then. If 14 year old me would have known that this would have become this, I would have been really proud. Well, it's just nice to, it's nice to have that. I don't know why Thank you, that's what I wanted to say. Keep reaching for the stars and dreaming, ladies and gentlemen, because I never thought I'd be here, ever.
and I feel like my nose is starting to bleed. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? My nose is bleeding. All that emotion, this me never shows emotion, gets a nosebleed from thinking about something sentimental. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you.